Hello? Um... Um... Hello? Oh! Uh... Hi! What are you doing here? Um... Are you ready to play some... Max Payne? Sure. Y you're not playing, I'm playing. Let me be clear. You're not playing, I'm playing. You're not playing, I'm playing. You're not playing, I'm playing. I'm playing the game. You're not playing the game. I'm playing the game. It's my game. Mine. Baka. <laughs> Okay, I'll stop being cringe now. Okay, um, let me start everything up real quick, okay? Okay, give me a second. Where is it? Where's the game? Where's the game? Oh, there it is. That's the game. Uh. Wow. It loading. It loading. It loading. It loading. It loading. <laughs> it loading. It loading. It loading. <laughs> oh, oh, you didn't see that. <laughs> Shut up! Shut up, shut up, shut up. Uh, hello. <gasps> hello! Okay. Alright, let's play. Let's play the game. It's time. It's time. Okay. Max Payne. Max Payne. I was thinking of... Whether or not I kind of wanted to do a, uh... Can I? Oh, oh, that's too bright. Oh, God. Wow, I can make it... Make it a different color. Kind of like this one. Um, I was thinking of, uh, I wanted to kind of do a... Stream... Where I watch, like, old... Game convention things kind of i kind of want to do that kind of don't i don't know because i didn't start watching them until geez probably 2013 i was i started watching like i think they were they started doing e3 live streams back in like 2014 or something 2013 2014 2015 was when they started really blowing up in popularity we're talking about like e3 conventions where they're like actually doing a live stream and stuff for the stuff uh for like conventions and things but The Video Game Awards is going to be really cringe this year. Let's be real. I wonder, does Nintendo still do their, like, directs? Do they still do that? What the hell happened here? Oh yeah, we're in the, uh, we're in the mansion. That's right, we're trying to kill some guy. I remember now. I remember. Oh yeah, I have, like, a... Commando. In death, the thug had been promoted to messenger. Someone hadn't enjoyed the Don's hospitality. Someone with a flair for the dramatic. Someone who had let herself out of a locked cell and passed a couple of armed guards. My thoughts were on Mona again. I could only hope she was a good enough gambler to walk away while she was still winning, before she'd run into the trio. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
At some point, I do want to play Alan Wake as well, because I've never played Alan Wake. I remember watching, like, a playthrough, like, decades ago. Oh, fuck. Hi. Caught, catching me off guard here. Come on. Don't do that. Don't catch me off guard. There he is! Where's the other guy? Oh fuck, you're still alive. Okay. Okay. This is definitely a corridor shooter area. Just walk it off. What the fuck? Bro, you get shot point blank with a shotgun. What? It just walks it off. Someone get the guys from upstairs. No, no one's going any place. Too late for that. He walks in, we waste him. Me, I do. Yeah, okay, but uh, not everybody's a Giga Chad like you. a bone and just walked it off yeah well great messenger. great for you not everyone has cool like s super sane level uh pain tolerance you know i use a shotgun because I assumed that it would be effective in close quarter, you know, close range, but no. <laughs> Apparently, pistols are better. <laughs> Fucking hell. Okay. This is a safe scum kind of game. Oh, God. We waste them. Vinny and Joe and Pilot won't get the credit. Alright, here we go. This is it. Let's spray him like hell. <laughs> Alright. You goofy goobers are now dead. I'm a goofy goober, yeah. Alright. Alright, here we go. It didn't take me long to run into the trio. Comics. The word on Lisa Punchinello was that she was a bit of a witch. The tarot cards on the kitchen table fit the picture. They weren't my kind of cards, but I was willing to take a crack at the hand Mrs. Punchinello had dealt. The first card was the tower. Maybe that was supposed to be the manor. It got easy after that. The devil was the master of the house, and death was me coming for him. <laughs> Based. Painkillers. That's a lot of painkillers, I tell you what. Trio. Yeah, there's like these three guys or something that he has to kill or something. What's with this like Scooby Doo ah ass music? Watch out, Scoops! <laughs> Looks like we gotta deal with them head on, man. Okay. A 
they're not dead. Hold on, hold on, let me jump through the door. Okay, here we go. Like, he's still alive. One down, two to go. What the? Oh, fuck, hey. <laughs> All right, let's, let's let's calm down for a second here, okay? I'm just a guy, you know. I'm just a fella. I'm just a I'm just a simple man. Looks like we got ourselves into a quick uh, cape. Oh god. Nobody else is in this room. Like, there's nobody here. <gasps> there he is. He was hiding behind the bushes. All right, careful. Jinkies gang. This also kind of sounds like surf rock. Take care of it. I want him dead. Away. You can't run away from the pain. You can't run away from the daughter that you killed. Damn. Okay, I guess they can run away. That's fine. I'll just do this animal style. some more pain killers. Killers. Pain killers. Okay. Here we 
go. I'm gonna throw a grenade in here. Fuck you. Fuck you. Okay, I need to just save after that. Okay. Alright, let me try something. Not that's shotgun ammo, okay. I don't need shotgun ammo. Okay. One to go. Don't stop at him! This will be this will stop anything. Hey, come on. Okay. Bro 
is chasing after me. Okay. The other guy I can get now. ammo. He had a grenade launcher. Okay, that was a little dumb, but I thought it was kind of fun. Oh, fuck! Oh, fuck! Oh, he scared me. Don't scare me. It was too late for her. You're a real angel, Max. I couldn't tell whether it was Mona or her sister. The body was a mess. The sick bastard had really gotten a kick out of it. Seeing her lying there got me thinking about another woman's body on another bed. Got me thinking about a fallen cradle. My God, I'm in a video game. It's funny as hell, it was the worst thing I could possibly think of. Okay. Max Payne. Talk to me. Alfred Woden. You've got company. An armed helicopter just landed on the manor grounds. You must hurry. The more the merrier. Chinello's trio was done for. Well, they're dead. Outside my door. Hurry. He's coming for me. You gotta hurry. Please. I could hear Punchinello on the phone begging for help. He should have been saying his goodbyes. Punchinello was a pushover. The moment I stepped into the room, he folded like a deuce before a royal flush. No, wait. I was just doing what I was told. I couldn't refuse. She's someone high up. Government, maybe. I don't know. He was trying to buy more sand for his hourglass. I wasn't selling any. No, I told him not to. <laughs> I didn't even have time to react. No, I told him not to. My guy isn't shooting. Okay. All right, here we go. Restart. Here we go. No, I told him not to. They're still alive. Ah! Holy fuck. They almost killed me. Well, he's dead. I didn't do it. Left a note. I guess I have no interest about it. Okay, we gotta get out of here. Lickety split. Drop it. Don't move. Game over, Max Payne. Shit. 
I could tell when I was outgunned. It was time to take another beating. The mystery witch was a real barracuda. Trouble on dagger heels, a smoking assault rifle in her hand, and an army of killer suits behind her. How sweet. I get to kill two birds with one stone. Sooner or later, it was going to catch up with you. Mr. Payne, it's time to show you the benefits of my brew. Be a good boy now. You'd find that Lady Luck was really a hooker. Ah! You were fresh out of cash. <laughs> Uh oh, that's a skull. That's like a screaming face. Bam. Bam. Gentlemen, we're Bam. done here. Bam. Take me to Cold Steel. She had just given me an OD of Valkyr. I could feel green fire eating my brains. They turned to steam. They did a fade on me. I'd never had a chance. The witch had got me just as sure as if she put a gun to my head and pulled the trigger. The shadows rushed me. Bruised mugshot faces hungry for revenge. They knew my weak spots and closed in for the kill. The floor turned into a vortex of green blood. I fell. Dangerous. Don't lose it. It's Valkyr. The drug. Snap out of it. Try to remember. It was a bad line in a prank call. Someone spouting insane babble. I couldn't make sense of it. But I had an overwhelming sense of deja vu, and the caller's voice sounded oddly familiar. There was something disturbingly familiar about the letter before me. The handwriting was all pretty curves. You're in a computer game, Max. The truth was a burning green crack through my brain. Weapon statistics hanging in the air glimpsed out of the corner of my eye. Endless repetition of the act of shooting, time slowing down to show off my moves. The paranoid feel of someone controlling my every step. I was in a computer game. Funny as hell, it was the most horrible thing I could think of. I was in a video game. Funny as hell. It's the most horrible thing I could think of. My god. My god. Get me out of here. Why do I have, why do I have three carpets in th different places? <sighs> this is a nightmare. Why do I have the same carpet? <sighs> why do I have two couches? <laughs> and like, the, they're not even facing the TV. <sighs> There's no couches near the fireplace. <sighs> I gotta get out of here now. I gotta get out of here. <sighs> what, what is this? This is just the same room again. <sighs> the feng shui is all off. Oh God, not this shit again. All right, hold on.
Oh, fuck. Oh. This part sucks. Okay. I'm gonna drop down and land on the actual platform. Okay. It hurt my brain. What part hurt your brain? The the game like doing this weird flashy stuff or or the, the feng shui of the Dude, I hate this so much. This is the real nightmare sequence right here, is the controls. The couches. Yeah, it's pretty bad. No, 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 no! We need to go this way. Go down. I think. No. You don't go down. Don't go down. It's too high up. Stop. Wait, I survived? Why? Why did I survive that time? Okay, whatever. Oh, fuck. Okay. God damn it. No! You idiot, you idiot, you idiot. Uh This one. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. The Super Mario. Super Jump Game. I'm the Super Mario Jumper. Yeah. feel right now that's kind of how I feel Yahoo time to jump into the game I'm Mario yeah My 
child is dead. Max! No! Max! Murderer! You killed her! Max, something happened at the office today. A strange memo. Something about Vikings. Honey, I gotta run. You can tell me all about it this evening. Have a nice day, darling. The bullet holes were rubies on her chest, blood glowing on her ivory skin. She was so beautiful. The killer was smiling. The flesh of fallen angels. The flesh of fallen angels. Man, this truck sucks. Slowly, the green nightmare faded, leaving dark stains on my soul that would never come off. I felt like flatlining. I was all shook up. I woke up in a cold sweat, sick and tired to the bone, lying in a puddle of my own puke. <laughs> The hag had said, take me to cold steel before it had all gone crazy. <laughs> it was a clue. The only one I had. It took me forever to crawl back to my feet and hit the road. But when I did, I drove straight to cold steel foundry outside the city. There was a whole lot of action around the place for a freezing winter night. Trucks coming and going, men running. I had the drop on the mystery witch. She thought I was dead. I was on her blind side. I was going in. The bad trip had put me in a crazy mood, adrenaline pumping through my aching veins. Staggering on the mill roof in ice and snow and wild wind, I was a ninja. My kung fu was strong. I wasn't hitting anybody. At best, I was Superman and kryptonite about to fall through a skylight, down to where it was all going down. A half-abandoned industrial area in the middle of nowhere. The factory was a perfect front for any number of illegal activities. Damn, we're fighting CS, uh, <clears throat> terrorists. In the belly of the plant, molten metal boiled and bubbled like a witch's brew. You, you go, Max. Go piss, girl. I only have a pistol and a baseball bat. Snow fell like confetti over the Devil's Parade. The storm was anything but over. For Max, it was just getting started. <laughs> bro, low bro. What's got you smiling, bro? Engaging, Engaging these nuts.
now moving to the flanking position. He went in front of me. I don't think he knows what a flank is. Fuck you, game. Fucking grenade spam bullshit. Fuck off. I didn't even know that was an explosive barrel. I just push buttons and things happen. Action shotgun ammo for a gun that's never going to work for me. It's like it's so good against me, but it's terrible with me. I feel like it takes like a billion shots to kill somebody with it. platform is going to help me out. I have to go around. For now. Cold steel. Sound kind of dumb. that way because it is this is skibbity bop bop and bop it up What am 
I doing up here? What is my purpose? I seriously thought that this would do something because there's a light over it. And I was just using context clues, but I guess I was wrong. I'm an idiot. trust this room. It's too empty. Yeah, I know it, I know it, I know it, I know it. This is what I'm talking about, man. Gave me painkillers. Can you believe it? I bet they sleep with their rifles. I bet they've given them names. I guess. So, you don't have a name for your gun? <laughs> Hello? Hell no. You do? Well, yeah, kind of. Hey, let's hear it. Well, I call it Dick Justice. I rest my case. What the fuck? Bro, that grenade did absolutely nothing. Can you believe it? I believe it. Alt. Voice has changed. I named him. Dick Justice. I thought it would be a cool gun name, but now I realize it's kind of dumb. Perimeter breached. The facility has been compromised. Repeat, the Deep Six has been compromised. Initiate Operation Dead Eyes. The walkie-talkie military lingo could mean only one thing. They were getting ready to destroy the evidence and vanish into the night. I was so close. The hidden truths were just around the corner. Damn it. Okay. Chapter two, Hidden Truths. How many chapters are there? Mercenaries were running a tight operation, paperwork and all. Merchandise missing again. A chemist had tried to smuggle it out for his own private party. Locked him up in cell B7 and D6's old test facility to wait for proper processing. I was close enough to hear the secrets, just beyond the next doorway.
Hmm. Okay. Where do I go now? Let's see. I could drop down. Fuck. Yeah, I think uh, what I need to do is I need to... Okay. I think what I need to drop down. God. I finally caught up with uh, my hero. Academia. Yeah, uh, it's good. I enjoy it. Um, I think... I, I do want to watch, uh, at some point I want to watch, um, Naruto, but my friend doesn't seem to like the idea of watching it. So, I don't know. We watched an episode of Ghost Stories, the dub, which was fun. So, I watched, um... So, we watched that. That was pretty funny. There was already some edgy humor in there that was pretty funny. Uh... Oh, God. I think, um, one of my... One of my biggest problems with My Hero for me is that it's it's ended too quickly it ended way too quickly for it to be interesting enough like they could have easily made they could have easily dragged it out for a lot longer and it would have been just fine and uh done even more arcs um but you know what are you gonna do? I'd r I guess I'd rather it be, you know, I'd rather it end than it to never end, you know? There's some manga and anime out there, like One Piece, that's just lasted a very long time. And it actually, a lot of people consider it to continuously be very good. Even as the show goes on, the later parts get better and better. And you have stuff like, uh, Naruto, uh, that also, um succeeds with this so it's not it's not like continuing it makes it worse it's not like an american cartoon where the longer the show goes on the worse it gets over time for some reason over in america that's just how it is over in japan it seems like if it's a shonen anime it can actually just straight up run for as long as they possibly want, uh, can live the the mangaka or So, I don't know, isn't that kind of strange how that works? I don't know, I mean, it's not like, I'm not saying that there there's good seasons and there's bad, you know, like, like every single season after season one of like One Piece is better than better and better. I'm sure there's a lot of stinkers, uh, if we're talking about the anime, of course. I'm sure there's a lot of just really big stinkers in there. The monitor showed me the way. But at that point, they make it a cash grab. Uh... What? Processing one piece? diagrams fill the control room screens. All but one. An elevator titled D6 on one of the screens. Somewhere onwards, it has rows of ovens in the core of the plan. Some shows? Yeah. I mean, well, obviously we were, like Spongebob, of course. That was supposed to end after three seasons in a movie. And then instead they kept it going because Viacom are a bunch of money. Hungry people. I think uh, Pokemon is basically just a franchise that's been run dry at this point. 
I, I genuinely do believe that Pokemon is, is one of the examples of something from Japan that's just run thin at this point. Slowly gets bad. Yeah. But I think generally, uh, I, 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 I want to watch Naruto with my friend. I want to get him to watch it with me. I don't know how I can convince him, though. Because he said one season. I said, what if, okay, what if it ends up being really good, then it might be worth, because there's the Shippuden part of it, which I've heard is better than the original Naruto. What is this? Do I need to blow it up or something? Oh. season can be long. Are you talking about Naruto? Yeah, I mean, if you go to, like, Crunchyroll or something, like, one season can have, like, 200 episodes. Look. There's a reason why some of this stuff is what people consider good. I fixed it. I win. I saved the day. Look, Patrick, I saved the day. That was my Spongebob laugh, by the way, in case you were wondering. <laughs> the fool. Wipes off blood on face. Oh, there we go. 
I'm smart. I see dead people. You idiot. Alert. What? Chapter 3, The Deep Sixth. I had taken on the role of the mythic detective, Bogart as Marlowe, or as Sam Spade going after the Maltese Falcon to unravel all the mysteries. Following a path of clues to that final revelation, even if it would take me down to the cold. His face looks like he smelled something really bad. Like he opened up his trash bag. Well, you can't and he do this. Got a My whiff of it. He's like, do you have any Ew. idea why this is called Operation Dead Eyes? Because he just they just killed him. I think he's dead already. Let's do it. Attention all personnel. The self-destruction sequence has been initiated. Counting face. Evacuate the complex We've got company. Repeat. The self-destruction sequence has been initiated. Repeat. The I had seen the logo on the floor before. There was an old army bunker under the steel mill. I knew the military plaque on the floor. I had seen a thousand variations of the insignia on crumbling brick walls everywhere in the city. The sword replaced by a syringe. Project Valhalla, V for Valkyr, V for Valhalla. All of a sudden it read like a crackpot conspiracy theory. Crackpot conspiracy theory? <laughs> God. Abort! Abort! The self-destruction sequence- abort, abort. Damn it. Let's listen to what abort, they have to say. Abort. The self-destruction sequence has been initiated! Get the hell out of here! The place is gonna blow! Move, move, move. Go, Damn. Abort! Abort! The self-destruction sequence has been initiated! Go. This way is the right way to go. Wait. Okay, there's no personnel. The self destruction sequence has been initiated. Proceed to the nearest exit immediately. Okay. That may be. The chemist had been using the workstation when he died. Six, six, five. The half life of the lab rat had ended online. His password blinking on the screen. 665. The neighbor of the beast. Don't kill them, follow them. <laughs> nah, 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 we're good. They have 360, they have like six cents or whatever. Or seven cents. Easy. I win. I win. I win, I win. I win, I win. You suck, I win. I win, I win. Hey, what's up? Attention all personnel. The on, let's go. Sequence has been let's go, dude. The exit you know, I, I helped him, so. Hey! Hi. Thanks. I thought I was gonna die in there for sure. I need you to get me through the decontamination chamber airlock. You're crazy! No way! The place is blowing up for Christ's sakes! Either that or back to the cell. 
Your choice. Okay, okay, I'll do it. I'll do it. His voice doesn't follow him. The heck? Hydrate. I'm I'm hydrating. I'm drinking a uh, beer. God's liquid. We're dead. We're dead. Hey. Hey. Cut it out. Come on, let's go. After this, you can go. You are free now. Proceed to the nearest exit immediately. Decontamination code. Done here. No, -uh. I was caught in the middle of the deadly web that was the Valkyrie case. <laughs> I was caught in the deadly web that is the Valkyrie case. I was caught in the middle of the deadly web that was the Valkyrie case. Okay, I know how to fix this. Check this out. Secret, Project Valhalla, U.S. Army, Yggdrasil Network. Valhalla, Yggdras the otherworldly place in Norse mythology, where That's the bravest heroes that. spent their afterlife feasting and fighting forever. Yggdrasil. Their wounds miraculously healed night after night. Oh. Valkyr, the maidens who chose the most courageous Viking warriors and carried them to Valhalla. 1991. The research objective is to create a chemical substance to enhance the stamina and morale of infantry troops. 1995. Results unsatisfactory. Project canceled. Someone had decided to continue the sick experiment unauthorized. Project compromised. Data leak. Fix the damage by any means necessary. Security clearance red. Authorized by the project lead. Field test. Double the dosage for all the remaining test subjects. Observe and record the subject's behavior in an urban setting. The drop-off point was my old address in New Jersey. The file dated three years ago. Just when you thought you had reached the deepest depths of horror, it suddenly got worse. How to turn off that small voice inside your head that started to whisper that you should be glad that now, if not before, your revenge was justifiable on any conceivable moral scale. That small voice proved, beyond any doubt, that I was damned. The dagger-heeled woman had come and gone. Fuck me. Okay. I hate that I just went through that whole fucking storyline. Oh my god. One of the lab terminals had the project logo on the screen. The dagger healed woman had come and gone a long time ago. There was nothing more for me here. The bunker's name was acting as a self fulfilling prophecy. What's over here? Why is this site being guarded? something over here that I'm missing. It's not. I guess it's just there just because. Twenty-three. 
I supposed to do? Shoot through the glass. What? Okay. together a jigsaw and the final picture is you finishing that same puzzle a mad green-eyed killer standing behind you an urban legend come true the project valhalla test subjects had been the mad junkies who had murdered my loved ones the rest was simple body count math it all pointed to her ms valkyr the factory went up in a fiery inferno behind me all my leads were dead turned to smoke and dust i had lost my way I hadn't slept in a million years. Wow. Wow. I guess he really is getting some max pain. <laughs> I felt thin as death. I've been living on an endless supply of weak old donuts. They were fuel for this crazy furnace inside my head. I couldn't remember when I had last seen the sun. I was on a permanent graveyard shift. When the darkness fell, New York City became something else. Any old Sinatra song notwithstanding. It's the Twin Towers. Bad things happened in the night. Well, on the streets of that other really, city. Not really, York City. I was in an all-night diner, downing cup after cup of coffee that tasted like engine oil, when a new message from BB got me back <laughs> on the killer like track. <laughs> what the hell happened at Roscoe Street? Maxie, I'm going out on a limb here. We need to talk this through, come up with a plan. 2.30 a.m., the choir communications garage. The more I thought about Alex's murder in the frame-up, the more it felt like an inside job. I should have seen it coming. BB had sold me out, and now he wanted to finish what he'd started. The garage was dead. BB showed up in his tailor-made suit, gold watch, and cufflinks to match. All way beyond a cop's pay. Maxie. Oozing suave charm. Maxie. He was guilty as hell. What the hell does BB stand for anyway? Backstabbing bastard? Come on, don't be like that. Have a cigar. I don't smoke. Maxie, you have no idea how big this is. It's huge. You have no idea. I think I do. You're a bribe taken bent cop who sold out his partner. Those mobsters in the subway were a dead giveaway. Hard to miss. Bet it was exactly like this with Alex. Up close and personal. 
You can't win this one, Max. No, but I can make damn sure none of you do either. BB turned out to be another cardboard cutout bad guy. Surprise. Watch out. The A bad cop on the Four tape. Polygon a cowardly right-hand man fleeing from the scene, leaving his paid thugs to do his dirty work. Thugs to do his dirty work. Damn bastard. combat now. Might as well put this to use. What the hell? Damn. This thing's accurate. Fuck it, whatever. Fuck it. I was trying to be badass or whatever. Fuck. What the? Whoa, he just he just dodged all of that. What? He just like... What the fuck? What? He just took that like a man. moment.
don't even know what hit me there. the cult commando for a minute. Thank you, thank you. Wow. Wowie, 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 wow. with one stone. Why why is that a saying? Killing two birds with one stone? Who's where did that originate from? I'm having like a that's so raven or something. Who the fuck came up with that? And why is that like a saying that we say? Go, 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 go! that up right now. I'm gonna look that up. I have to quit the game, but actually wait, no I don't, no I don't. Here, let's look that up real quick. Where did the term kill two birds? Two birds with one stone was first founded in writing in 1656. It appeared in the Questions Concerning Liberty, Necessity, and Chance written by Thomas Hobbes. The quote reads, TH thinks to kill two birds with one stone and satisfy two arguments with one answer, whereas in truth, he sat satisfied he satisfied Neither. He satisfied neither. Fuck. This expression can be has been used for a long time, maybe as far back as the story of Daedalus and Icarus from Greek mythology. And it dotedly, uh this saying in Italian is much more nurturing. We can feed two birds with one bean. Okay, let's see what the uh, what Reddit says because they're a bunch of losers. Let's see. In its present form, the earliest printed record of the idiom was found in 1656. Prior to that, some believe it originated from the story of Date, uh, De Daedalus and Icarus. This doesn't mean that the words can be found verbatim in the story, but that the story itself or plot points within it might be the first, uh, most concrete use of the metaphor for accomplishing two things with one action. Date, uh... Daedalus kills two birds with one stone and, uh, with one stone to get the feathers of the bird to make the wings. Father and son escape from the labyrinth by making wings and flying out. 
Two birds, one action, twice. Other accounts credit the actual expression to the proverb Johnny Haywood, uh, John Haywood in 1546. I will learn with an E at the end to stop two gaps with one bush. Then finally the exact idiom as we uh, still use it today shows up in 1656 with Thomas Hobbes, the questions concerning liberty, necessity, and chance. TH thinks to kill two birds with one stone and satisfy two arguments with one answer, whereas truth uh, he says yeah yeah yeah. But why are we using killing two st birds with one stone as the the phrase? Why did that? Why was that like the thing that someone came up with to describe a specific thing? of getting two actions done at once or something. What the? Punchinello, the alleged head of the Punchinello bang, crime bang, family. Bang, bang. Oh, I'm dead. The police are now saying, contrary to their earlier statements, that Max Payne is still alive and at large. He continues his vendetta against the Mafia, of which this last act of arson is attributed to. I had no recollection of setting any fires, but I did remember the flames. Yeah, I never did that. That wasn't me. All right. I want everybody to put their hands up now, or else I will use force. Don't make me regret my decisions. Another one spikes the dust. I think I have to use what my sensei taught me. Now that was pretty lit. <laughs> I'm sorry, was that a little too...
That's the last of them. Ugh, there's one more. That was a close one. Whew. Good thing I have my Ultra Lord action figure. Limited collection. Still in the box. I guess I better use this dumbass shotgun. <sighs> Pity. Oh, woe is me, am I right? <laughs> this is how you have to use the shotgun. cool gun too. It's called the jackhammer. It's my kind of weapon. Fuck. Alright, well, time to use the jackhammer, I guess. Actually, I have a better idea. Call me Maxie. My name is not Maxie. Don't you dare dead name me. Alright, where's the fourth stooge? Bro, what? Okay. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Alright. Now we gotta get this guy. Wait for him to reload. Fuck you. Okay. That's... That's the final boss right there. Or not the final boss, but he's like a... He's like a boss, you know? See the inevitable. Refuse to do the smart thing. No, I must do the right thing. Where'd he go? Where'd he I go? I blame you. For a smart guy can be stupid at times. What the fuck? to see the inevitable. Refuse to do the smart thing. No, I must do the right thing. No, I really hate people who refuse to see the inevitable. Refuse to do the smart thing. 
Fuck off. Now I must do the right thing. Fuck this guy. Not big enough. I blame you. For a smart guy, you feel nice. Oh, Fuck really you. Oh my god. to see the inevitable. Refuse to do the smart thing. No, I'm not. Shut your trap. He's dead. The payphone started to ring. I killed him. Yeah. He's Thanks, dead. Man. Whatever does it for you. This is Alfred Wooden. I can give you the name of your enemy. Come to the Asgard building presently. We are expecting you. Okay. All right. Max. Max. Woden was waiting for me on the steps of the old building. Mr. Payne, let's go inside. The others are anxious to begin. The others? Despite the general misconception, this building actually predates the city hall by two years, thus being the oldest municipal building still in use here at the foot of the Brooklyn Bridge. No kidding. The old man played tour guide as he led me through a dark, domed hall. The answers I was after loomed large ahead. Mr. Payne, I would like to introduce you to my colleagues in what we call the Inner Circle. You've been watching too much X-Files. You have seen the files on Project Valhalla. We can fill the gaps, provide you with the information missing from those files. We were all involved in the early stages of the project during the Gulf War. What's the catch? We would very much like to blow this thing wide open, but our hands are tied. Her name is Nicole Horn. She was the key figure in Project Valhalla. When the funding was discontinued, she simply refused to quit. She knew exactly what she had in her hands. Nicole Horn is the president of Acer Corporation. She has more than half the city in her pocket. This must be kept under wraps. If you try to go public with this, we will deny any knowledge. We need you to take her out. Afterwards, we can protect you. Make all the charges go away. That was the cue for the killer suits to kick in the doors and swarm inside. It was an impressive floor show, but I decided to leave early anyway. It was only a one-story fall. Shit. Anybody else wanna? Oh, yep. Couple members. I'm dead. Damn it. Why does this always happen to me? Okay.
No. Hello? I don't know the key card. One of the monitors showed what was left of the inner circle. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. I hate you, I hate you, I hate you, I hate you, I hate you. I hate you, 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 I hate you. One of the monitors showed what was left of the inner circle. Cover me, I'm going in. On screen, the so-called corpse of Alfred Woden stood up, miraculously waking from his dirt nap, looking smug among his dead pals. In the land of the blind, the one-eyed man is king. I didn't know how he'd pulled it off, but it was a pretty slick way to get out of all his promises. Most of what he had said fit too well to be a load of crap. That was a pretty base uh, quote. Well, he lives. Unfortunately, damn. Fuck. Okay. Can I steal their their passwords? Or something? Ah! All right, where was he? Where was he? He was apparently somehow in there, even though there was a billion grenades in there. Are you fucking kidding me? These later levels are, are nothing but pain. Oh, he drops down. You sly dog. Killer storm. Operation banana. One, two, three, four. Bro, I just healed. Uh... your answer to those saying that he's actually providing a service long overdue to the city. This crusade nonsense has gone too far. He's out of control. It must stop. He will be stopped. 
That was Deputy Chief Jim Brevera from the New York City Police Department. Well, well, well. Looks like, uh... I'm dead. M9 ammo. Good. I needed it more than anything. I'm hungry. And the only thing that can feed me is food. Because I'm hungry. Fucking hungry. I want McDonald's. There should be like an AI of like Max Payne going to McDonald's. Wait, does that exist? Please tell me it exists. Please tell me it exists. Please tell me it exists. This is one guy who says Max Payne narrates. But I don't know what he's narrating. What is he narrating? I wasn't sure if I would see it. it was just a bad dream. Or someone else's thoughts burning like green electricity in my brain. The only saving grace of a nightmare is they usually end when you wake up. I had a feeling this one was just getting started. I like making these like high high level ship posts. Nicole Horn had blackmailed the inner circle into silence. The tape came with a curt extortion note on a piece of expensive paper. Expensive I remembered paper. Candy Dawn taping her clients in action on the side, selling the tapes to the highest bidder. I was sure that kinky sex was nowhere near Alfred Woden's worst sin. But I had a feeling that when this was over, any collateral would come in handy. Hmm. Okay. Woden had left me a present. Woden had taken care of my mission preps with military precision. The critical areas in the Acer Corporation headquarters blueprints were circled in red. The president's office was at the top of the building, right below her penthouse suite. The elevators were controlled by a security computer, part of the mainframe located underground below the building. The high-rise was sealed as tight as a sci-fi fortress. Nothing seems to stop Acer Corporation's phenomenal victory march. Incredibly, the stocks are still rocketing. Worried experts already see a danger in the company's success. Some have gone as far as to say that Acer Corporation is about to become an even bigger monopoly than Microsoft ever was. Than Microsoft ever was? Was that what she was going to say? Microsoft? But they, they like cut it? Fuck you. So I'm just gonna walk out of this building. Cause I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck, then I don't give a fuck. Shit. I said I give a fuck, and if I don't give a fuck, then I give a fuck. He's 
just dead. Pursue me. The best movie ending ever? Oh, gotta be Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. A hero's end. Going out with guns blazing. Never heard of it. What the yo? What the fuck did I just kill? Is that like the, the boss man himself? What the hell is going on here? I think that's where I came from. This reminds me of that one level from Metal Gear Solid. is a teen power game i had dreamed of revenge those dreams were always nightmares of coming close and then failing now i was close i had a name to guide me nicole horn i had nothing to lose the inner circle had quite a track record <laughs> Project Valhalla had not been the only thing the inner circle had been involved in. There were rows of cabinets full of files. The Serpentine mm -hmm. Secret Society went back a long way, always pulling strings from the shadows. I couldn't say Why I was they sorry. Keep documents Warden's of this? move in some Byzantine power game had cut the circle's membership roster to one. The old man wanted me on cleanup duty. It was my mess too. Mm. is completely pointless. This is just more. What? Where am I supposed to go? The door broke -y. I can't leave. How am I supposed to continue? Question what, like, why Max does the things he does sometimes? I swear.
Fuck. Fuck ass. Shit ass. Mustard. Thank you, thank you. Have a good night. It, but it just keeps going. Unfortunately, I have the shotgun still. Weapon that is so weak. It's only usefulness to me, as far as I'm aware. Is headshot at almost point blank range. Fuck. 
CIA, FBI. You've seen one, you've seen them all. Sure, good for a practice oh. run. But this, working for her. Oh, this is the real thing. The money's astronomical. And best of all, you get to kill any scumbag who gets in your way. License to kill. Like James Bond. Target located. <laughs> This thing must be busted. Take him down. Shoot to kill. Let's finish this. Take him down. Shoot to kill. Let's finish this. Take him down. Shoot to kill. Let's finish this. straight back to like after the music goes away you can just hear that there's an outside world outside of this it kind of reminds me of um hotline miami in that case with like how hotline miami does that kind of stuff very badly needed those paint colors oh really i had a gun on me Nothing to lose. Here it is. I think we're getting close to the end. Mine wasn't the most original approach to the problem. It wasn't as if it hadn't all been done before. An eye for an eye, the first principle of revenge. Old as dirt, still going strong. The cardinal rule in going after someone with an intention to kill was not to make it personal. Which it almost always ended up being anyway. It did with me. I took my time cruising around the city in the snow. There was no hurry. I knew what I had to do now. I took my time thinking about it. Building up the rage. When I was ready, I parked the stolen wheels at the front entrance of the Acer Corporation headquarters. Got out, got in, got cracking. I had a bullet with Nicole Horn's name on it. I had 10,000 bullets with the hag's name on them. She had ultra-high-tech security systems, enough mercenaries and weaponry to start World War III. There was no fear. New York disappeared behind a veil of snow. I had crossed the threshold. This was her domain, sleek and sexy and soulless, all glass and steel. A place of color-coded security key cards, metal detectors, and surveillance systems. I love the, um, Colder the fact- than a walk-in fridge. Cold as a gun. I love the fact of the, of the, um, underlying storyline going on with the fact that the snow just never lets up and that it's some of the coldest weather in, like, forever. I love that little side little tidbit that's going on.
Did I get him? Okay. I think I got him. Shit, man. You're killing me here. For real, for real. Okay. Painkiller's full. How about now? Okay. Here we go. Okay. Also, get rid of that. Okay. Here we go. I'm an idiot. These are scary, I swear. <laughs> okay. Alright. Okay. Okay. I don't know how long this level's gonna be, but... Okay. 
All right. Lasers. Jesus, Jesus, Murphy, Jesus, 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 Oh yeah, by the way, don't watch uh, Star Wars Act Light, by the way. It's terrible. Don't watch it for your own sake. Don't. Looking good. Max, we gotta stop meeting like this. It will be a cold day in hell before I let a narc cop stop me. Miss Sachs, do your job. Relax, Max. You're a nice guy. I don't kill nice guys. You're not bad yourself. It was different when Horn wanted Punchinello dead. To cut her ties to the Mafia, he deserved to die. The same goes with her. She's the bad guy here. Her sister was whispering to her in my favor. I knew the appetites of ghosts intimately. They hungered for revenge. Max! <gasps> no! A gunshot boomed and she fell down in slow motion. She was a nice girl. Not really a stone cold killer. And now she was stone cold dead. Like religious fanatics or loyal samurai, Horn's private army was coming at me. Surely it's not. So am I supposed to take the elevator or not? What was going on here? When the elevator came back down, Mona was gone. There was a lot of blood, but no body. Something clicked for the final time. My mind had never been so clear, as if somewhere high above the storm clouds were already gone, cold stars blazing from the black skies. Lasers, uh, this laser thing. Okay. When the elevator came, when the elevator. Okay, here we go.
Okay. You ready? Uh, here. Okay. You know what I'm talking about. In all the cool action movies, and I'm talking about the coolest of the cool, it always seems like... I'm out of ammo, of course. Fuck. Okay, I have an idea. Jackhammer. You know what I'm talking about. In all the cool action movies, and I'm talking What the? Hmm. Seems to be in quite the predicament, huh? Access to the mainframe. From there, I'd be able to override the security locks and get to her office. I had elevator access to the mainframe. From there, I'd be able to override the security locks and get to her office. Elevator access to the mainframe. From there, I'd be able to override the security locks and get to her office. this exact scene and my dad struggling to beat this scene like this part like I remember this exact part Wow nice what am I supposed to do he's just killing me okay How come he instantly kills me now instead I have to go this way? I'm 
but I know what I need to do. I know what I need to do. Guardian, inhuman and flawless. It was stalking me. Fuck. I should have saved. Oh. Chopper was Horn's pet guardian, inhuman and flawless. It was stalking me. I'm not a cold-blooded killer. I'm a nice guy. I love my wife. I have two boys I'm very proud of. You just have to make the ends meet. And if that means I have to shoot someone now and then, hey, it's just my job from nine to five. Hey, you! Kill the bastard! Kill the Cold-blooded killer. I'm a nice guy. Hey, kill the bastard. I'm not a cold-blooded killer. I'm a nice guy. I'm a swell fella. I watch Seinfeld on Saturdays. I eat breakfast. Weird computer room tech that doesn't really mean anything, but is just kind of here and it's blue. I always love that kind of tech, you know? were now offline. All bets were off. were now offline. All bets were off. The elevator would take me all the way up. Okay. Alright. This is it. I think. I don't know. Probably not. But... Okay. We'll see. Seen from this height, the night seemed to stretch on to eternity. A hint of desperation had crept into the snowstorm, as if it was trying to get it all out before the end. That's so deep. Thank you. 
Warren's personal computer was on. Next to the printer was a neat stack of expensive paper. Hacking through Horn's computer would have unearthed files of criminal plans, strategies for world domination, spy helicopter reports, illegal wiretap recordings, internet porno, all of the above. Take your pick. I really didn't care anymore. I had seen too much of it already. I just want to pain and suffering here it is Valkyr had been meant to be a white winged maiden that would lift you to a warrior's heaven but it turned out to be a one way demon ride to hell the devil was in the drug I knew I had met him and now I was going to kill her the queen of the underworld who had tried to lift herself a bit closer to heaven with her drug money no begging, no bribes. She knew better. Honor among killers. We who are about to die. Both of us knew how this would end. In pain and suffering. All this because your wife stuck her nose into things that were none of her business. The cops were coming to take me away. The sirens were like a bad conscience I couldn't shake. It's ridiculous you've made it this far. You won't be alive when they get here. just doing but I don't think I won Max Payne you are fighting a losing battle you cannot survive this I guess I just had to shoot at it a bunch. Max Payne, you are fighting a losing battle. You cannot survive this. You will die. Stop fighting. Make it easy for yourself. Accept your fate. You will die here. Nah, I, I'd win.
Maybe I will die here. What the hell? You are up against an army. Up against an army. You have lost. I have lost. Accept it. Surrender. Give up. God. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh. Oh jeez, Rick.
Just back up now. What do you mean he's unstoppable? to manually Watch this cutscene.
What are you supposed to do? I feel like an idiot. I feel like a complete dumbass. Cause it's like I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Lift off in 45 seconds. It's not really good at explaining this. Am I supposed to like dive off and die? Am I supposed to shoot that or am I not supposed to shoot that? Because okay. I have an idea. 30 seconds to lift off. Why is it not working now? Game, you gotta help me out here. Come on. Lift off in 45 seconds. Am I supposed to... Okay, let me try this. I don't know what else I'm supposed to do. This is my only other option, I'm guessing. 
I don't know. Inside the building. Fifteen seconds to lift off. Okay, ready to lift off in five, four, three, two, one. Is this the shit that people are talking about on, on saying like this game's hard? Because this is fucking seconds. stupid. This is actually fucking stupid. What the fuck do you want me to do? Is it bugged? Like that that's the only thing I can come up with? Is it bugged? Am I doing something wrong? Why is these random platforms here? Seconds. Why can't I do anything? Why is it that I destroy this thing here and nothing happens? Okay. Here's my other suggestion. Uh... Lift off in 45 seconds. dead. The final gunshot was an exclamation mark to everything that had led to this point. I released my finger from the trigger. And then it was all over. The storm seemed to lose its frenzy. The ragged clouds gave way to the stars above. Max Payne, this is Deputy Chief Jim Bravora from the NYPD. We've got the building surrounded. Throw down your weapons and lie down with your hands behind your head. Bit closer to heaven. The 
The cops' voices were distant and muted. Freeze! NYPD! Hold it right there! My ghosts released me from their haunting. Down below, New York City glittered like diamonds on black velvet. You gave us one hell of a ride. Take him down to Central Booking. You heard the man. Woden was there in the crowd, standing by the sidelines. It wouldn't be over till the man with the patch would say so. He'd say the right words. I knew he would. He'd better. Woden grinned smugly. It was the grin of a winner. That made two of us. Congratulations, you have completed Max Payne the New York Minute and hard-boiled gameplay modes have been unlocked for even further challenges. Well, there you go, we did it. What a, what a game. Uh... If I wasn't an idiot, um, yeah, I would have, I wouldn't struggle nearly as much on certain parts. But because I am an idiot, I struggled on a lot of parts. So, with that in mind, it's not a perfect game, but it is a gem among gems. It is a, a cult classic. Not even a cult classic, it is a classic in every sense of the word. This game created an entire phenomenon that is bullet time in video games. It is the predecessor to all of them. Um, not only that, the game was not, like, it was a budget title. It was straight up a budget title with uh, not a huge amount of backing when it came to production. And they still managed to pull it off in the end, which I think is pretty cool. And we get two other games out of this on top of that. Uh, the second one being the game that they pretty much wanted to make when it came to making Max Payne. Called Max Payne 2 The Fall of Max Payne. Uh, I can't really rate this because this is a this is a classic title. I mean, let's be real. I think there's there's definitely room for improvement. So I'm giving the game an eight out of ten, but my ranking may change uh, depending on the other two games. see. We'll see. Congratulations, Remedy. You, know, you made a classic video game that is well known. What a strong, not only is it a strong, like, title, strong character name, strong cover for a game, strong story despite it being very simple nowadays. Especially even then, I think this story is pretty simple. I love the, like, very small minor details that were in this game when it came to certain stuff in memory of Doug Myers. There's some peace. Um, journey through the night, the pain has only just begun. More will follow. Max Payne has only started his journey through the night. Yeah, they were like, yeah, we want to make more if possible. They were, they were sure that this game was going to be a, su a success. They had, they felt like it was a guarantee, which it was. But if you, uh, if you start a new game, you can play on, what is this one? Pressure's on, you only have a limited amount of time to clear each level, and hard boil. Beat this mode to advanced, uh, to dead on arrival. The game gets even more difficult, pretty much. But, that was Max Payne. Um, yeah, I mean, 
again, it could end up being even higher on the list. Uh, given the circumstances, we'll see how Max Payne 2 and Max Payne 3 fare compared. <sighs> we will see. Yeah, that was good. I like Max Payne as a character. Um, I thought I thought the gameplay. Um, I think for me there was a lot of cheap <laughs> tricks the game pulls on you, on purpose, which is super annoying. Where they just have guys sitting in corners or throwing a grenade around a corner, and the grenade's like explosion radius is really large to the point where it's pretty much almost impossible unless you know you have the foresight of knowing that a grenade's going to be thrown if you don't react immediately you will take inevitable damage and it's an impossible like it's impossible you you have to do this stupid like save scumming thing constantly because the game will just keep throwing random annoying things at you like that which is super annoying but it, again, it laid the groundwork for future titles. And we will see how they hold up. Max Payne 2 being the game that seemingly was the ultimate version of the series. And a great way to end the series as well. And then Max Payne 3 came out. <laughs> Which might also be really good as well, but... <sighs> I have... I have no idea. We will see. We will see. Alright. We're gonna stop here. For today, of course, because we just finished the game. I hope you enjoyed. I hope this was entertaining. I hope this was a fun playthrough. I know I didn't really talk much on certain parts, but that's just the thing. It's just like sometimes I just gotta fucking focus or else I can't, like, or else I'm just gonna do bad, you know? So I had to focus. So unfortunately, there's a lot of times where that was happening or I just get lost in thought and start thinking about stuff. So. I apologize if I if I go went like a long period of time without saying anything. Kind of getting engrossed in the gameplay. You know, um, for me, if you want to know if I'm really enjoying a game at a point in time, at any point in time, if I'm not talking, I'm 100% engrossed in what I'm playing, which is a good sign. The gameplay is engaged enough to where I don't even have room to even talk about anything or say anything. I'm just too focused on playing the game. And that happens to me. And it can also be a bad thing too. In some cases, like for example, let's say I'm playing... Let's say I'm playing Breath of the Wild, right? Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, and I'm just walking or riding a horse or something. I'm just walking across the land. And I'm not doing anything except walking. <sighs> That's an instance where it's like... Yeah. <laughs> That's, That's the in That's an instance where... I'm bored, right? I'm not doing anything right now. I'm just walking. And it's boring. And that's the case. That's a case where... I'm so bored that I just can't think of anything interesting to say. That's another thing, too. Um, but, yeah. Good times. We will see about Max Payne 2. Um, Max Payne 2 being about... I think it's roughly the same length as Max Payne 1. About 8 hours or so. Max Payne took us about seven hours to beat, but that's also because I suck at the game and I was dying a bunch. By the way, Max Payne 2 is literally only 155 gigabytes. 
Can you believe that? Max Payne 3 being 36 gigabytes. Max Payne being almost 1 gigabyte in size. That's just crazy. That's insane. Here, I'm going to do this real quick. Go ahead and sort by install date. Let's see. Here we go. Uninstall. Yes. Since I'm not playing it anymore. There we go. So I'm not playing that anymore. That was the uh, patch uh, for Max Payne. And I just wanted to remind myself to remove it so it's not taking up storage space on my computer. Yeah. Yeah. Inya. 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 Okay. That's going to be that. I hope you have a good morning, good day, good afternoon, good evening, good night. Thank you.